What's going on guys? Winter Kills here and welcome back to a brand new test hand video. I've done a couple uh, this past few weeks or so and I wanted to do one for Atlantean Mermail because I've completely overhauled the deck. Uh, I've moved away from the Sekka's Light engine. You can see there's some cards in there that are blue, those spell cards or green, whatever you want to call them. And um, I've cut the Undyne and Genix engines, uh, I've dropped Null None. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, uh, experimenting right now, I guess. That's all I'm doing. That's basically all this video is, is, like, an experimental run of this new build. I don't know what to expect. Might be good. Might be bad. Who knows? I'm just trying something different, uh, because I've been playing around, you know, the same, probably the same build for the past, like, maybe month or two. Um, give or take a few choice changes there, here and there. But, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started, but reminder to check out Imperium Duelist, uh, the sponsor of this channel, down in the description below. And you can use that discount code to help support me and help save money off your entire order. So, yeah, without with that being said, let's go ahead and draw into our first hand, where hopefully it's not a complete brick. Okay, so to start, yeah, so we have this card in here as well, because I'm trying out the Ib, the World Chalice Justiciar in here as, like, a uh, synchro option. Uh, because uh, making level 5 synchros in here with like Fishborg Launcher, Diva Infantry, Prince, it's not like super hard to do. Um, so I'm just sort of, like I said, experimenting. Uh, the only thing I would probably do with this hand is start with the Moray of Greed. And the nice thing about this as opposed to like Controller, they're both Manilas obviously, but this one you can actually like put back with Moray of Greed. So I'm just going to put back the Aqua Spirit and the Crown by the World Chalice. We'll go ahead and draw into three more cards here. Hopefully uh, we draw into some, something pretty good. You know, we need something good. Yeah, and the one thing I, I wanted to add to this deck is because, like, the spell lineup was just kind of confusing me. I just wanted to... I wanted to add as many cards that increase consistency as possible. Uh, like, so I've added, like, the Moray and uh, Pot of Duet... Or Pot of Desires and an Upstart Goblin. Um, okay, those are really good draws. Um, and I've also changed up the extra deck quite a bit as well. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do here is start with the Teus, discard the Dragoons. We're going to go add Diva. And we're going to add a copy of Gund. Add Gund here. And then we'll start with Diva. And since we already have the Prince in our hand, which is really clutch, so we'll bring out the Infantry. Normal this for our extra normal. And then we'll send Dragoons. Add Dragoons if we have one left, which we should. And we'll add a copy of Prince off the other Dragoons. So we can probably make some pretty cool plays here. Uh, the reason being I wanted to go with the world chalice lineup is because a it's a water monster this allows you to like search monster born and then if you link it away you can uh you know special summon that level two i wanted to play like the level four for dweller plays because there's a couple times where like just making a dweller for it for free would come up with the monster born that you search um but i'm still not sure yet at this point like i said pretty experimental uh so we will link or not link we'll synchro here and i guess instead of like adding for the adding for the uh the prince we could have added like a, a moulin glacia here because we could drop moulin at this point um hmm but the reason i wanted to keep this is because once we link this away uh we'll be able to special in the level two and then we could reborn the this actually no we don't need to we don't need the prince right now yeah let's just grab moulin glacia why not if we're going first um, hopefully they're not playing like a, a billion dangers in their hand for this uh, given test hand here or else that'd be pretty unfortunate um, and I will search as well on the summon should have done that first well it doesn't really matter just going back and change the search target so we had world legacy succession uh, there's probably other world legacy cards you can play in here like spells and trap wise but I think succession is probably the best one uh, just because like if you draw it in the opening hand you, you, it's whatever because it's just monster born and it's usually pretty easy to set up a uh a link play to be able to make it live so we'll link these two we can't go into alasia so we're gonna have to go into the trusty old boy trusty mistar boy and now we'll use just a cr's effect here to revive or not revive but special summon the world uh chalice crown crowned by the world chalice that we put back earlier that we luckily got lucky doing draw again um, and I guess if we would have drawn it again, we wouldn't have added Moulin. Also, I should have summoned the Moulin first, so let's not forget that. Should have summoned the Moulin before uh, we sync or uh, link, so just keep that in mind. Um, but now our hand as it is, uh, we can play Succession, Reborn this, and then Synchro with these two. And like I said, yeah, if we would have drawn back into this, we could have just added Prince instead of Moulin, and then used the discard the Prince off this Megalo summon to revive a level 2 
uh, to make another synchro play. But let's link these two now. Uh, or not link, synchro rather. Some more synchroing going on here. And we'll go into F.A. Dawn Dragster. That'll give us a spell trap negate. And the last thing we can do here is summon Megalo by discarding Dragoons and the Gund. And we'll search here because I am playing the Abyss Scales again. I'm playing two Abyss Scales. I'm playing Mizuchi and Kraken. Uh, the one that negates monsters. I'm not playing a Cetus. I thought about playing one each, but I just don't have a Cetus right now. Um, so, yeah, and like I said, still experimental. Uh, oh, we also get to search a Sea Serpent as well. We could add Lapis Dragon, um, just so... And we also get to revive off Gun here. I'm going crazy. There's so many things we get to do. Uh, Gun, revive the Teus. And now we'll special summon the Lapis Dragon so we can link this and this away for... A copy of Alacia because we don't want to give up that Alacia if we don't have to and then we'll overlay these two for Gaios trusty Gaios or like I'm trying out Draco sack again like one thing we could have done here is instead of linking the Alacia or linking what was it linking the Lapis Dragon away and the Mistar boy uh, for Alacia, we could have made like Draco Sack here, I guess, and then used his effect to like maybe, and then maybe like link these two away so we lose our battle phase next turn, but who cares? And then maybe like do this, detach, summon two tokens, and then synchro here for like Savage Dragon. Um, and we still have a way to equip Mizuchi because we have Alacia. Um, or the other way, like, we just make Gaios there at the end. So, like, that's just a couple ways that plays out. And we still have, like, a... We still have a discard target in hand for our Lacia. And if they have a set card, we also get to pop it. So, not too bad for the first test hand. I'm not going to get my hopes up just yet because, like, like I said, the one thing I'm just trying to fix with this deck is just consistency. Um, it's just, like, adding in draw power. Like, cards I've never played before in here, like, Desires. So I'm shuffling in an extra deck monster. Um, but, yeah, that was a pretty... I mean, that was a pretty optimal turn. We got to end with either, like, Gaios... Uh, the Dawn Dragster, Mulan, and Alacia with the uh, Spell Negate. Or we got to end with Draco Sack, uh, Savage Dragon equipping the Mistar Boy, and uh, the Alacia. So, like, there's just a couple ways we could have ended that field there. It's just depends on, like, what we opened, what we would have drawn into off that Moray again. And we, like, that was a really good opening. We drew, like, the, the, the Teus Dragoon. So, like, that's just, like, the high end of what we're able to do. That's the high ceiling. It's just the thing is like finding out, you know, valuable plays to make when you're at the lower end of the spectrum, when you're not opening Teus Dragoons. It's like when you're opening like a Prince and like a copy of Pike or something. And that's just where, that's where like, you know, the, the hard work comes into trying to pull something out there as opposed to, oh, I've, you know, I'll literally open the best two cards in my deck at the same time. You know, let's see what we can make possible here. All right. So let's shuffle here and let's go ahead and draw into another hand the deck. Keep it professional, copy a gun, copy a prince, copy a dragoons, copy a kraken, copy of prince. I'm just gonna do these all going first. Um like, like one of the cards I was trying to cut out of here was Call by the Grave, but like then I also realized like it's kind of important. But then like there's those hands where you just like open two copies of Call by the Grave and like a Dragoons and like a gun. Do you just like you just like want to just scoop immediately? Uh because you realize like, oh well, my turn's over now. <laughs> I've set these call by the graves and hopefully I don't get OTK next turn. It's just it's the dichotomy. It's a love hate. It's like a. It's kind of like a necessary evil sometimes. But I just really wish there was points where I uh, just didn't have to play it. And, and like, I don't want to play it. I, I kind of want to find a way to cut it. It's just finding something to replace those three slots. I thought about Sphere and Lind again. Thought about maybe adding like maybe a second Desires or maybe adding um, like a Foolish Burial or maybe Twin Twisters. But then again, like the Twin Twisters sort of have like the same effect that the. Um, the call by the graves would have so now we'll use megalo pitch the double dragoons megalo chain link one for mizuchi then we'll add a copy of megalo and prince we already have prince in hand so actually let's add um that infantry i guess we had another way to like search another sea serpent we could have gotten like diva here and like revive this off the prince and then normal the diva but we don't have a way to make that happen without using this sea serpent search on the dragoons or on the megalo rather all right so we start our turn send dragoons 
add Dragoons Megalo, and then summon Megalo by discarding Dragoons and Dragoons to search these two. Now we'll summon this. Or no, let's first let's link so we can use our gun properly. Let's link right into Mistar Boy. Or not Mistar Boy, uh, the Alacia. We'll summon Megalo by discarding these two. And then we'll go Gun 2, Prince 1. Doesn't really make too big of a difference. Uh, and then we'll special summon that. So now we just have like a random Dragoon sitting here who's not doing too much. Uh, if we were to get, if we were able to get like a tuner on board or something, that would've been nice. Uh, then we would just like overlay these for a Gaios. Uh, there's no real point in making Drago sack right now. And then we just equip the equip spells to one of each of these or both. Um, I think it'd be better just to do like the Mizuchi on this and then like this on this. Um, so if they clear this, they don't get rid of both of these, sort of speak. Uh, but we also have a way to negate a monster, a, a spell, a full monster, board, negation, skill drain. We have the discard target for Alacia. We have the pop ability as well, and we can search a Teus next turn like that. And then ideally, ideally, let's see what we would draw, or just supposedly what we'll draw, is a copy of Salvage, which isn't too bad. Uh, salvage is not bad at all in here. Um, I mean, again, I guess we could have, like... Added Lapis Dragon there, summoned that, made uh, Draco Sack, but it's like hard to link into another link to be able to get use of the Savage Dragon because, or like we could have made Whale, I guess. Um, it's just, it's like that'd be a going second option. Like, ideally, I want to find a way to make, uh, like, have room for both Warlord, Savage Dragon, and uh, the White Aura Whale because I think they both have their merits for sure. The only other thing I think I would maybe cut would be maybe the red ice flare metal dragon um maybe maybe trish i might cut because uh, red ice flare does come in clutch quite a few times to say the least uh so i'm gonna go ahead and like pile shuffle real quick and then we'll go ahead and do another test hand all right i'm all shuffled up here let's see what we can draw into i'm just waiting for the hand that is going to be really hard to figure out what to do that's just going to end on like an alacia let's see all right pot of desires okay that's interesting i actually wanted to hopefully i was hoping we'd get a hand starting with that um, so, the thing with Pot of Desires in here is, like, if it fixes your hand and it helps you win the game, it helps you win the game. In a situation like this where our hand's not that great, if we banish a lot of things we need and we don't draw good, we're gonna lose anyways. That's just the way I look at it. It's sort of like, you know, double or nothing. Um, although we can sort of prevent the damages that it might do by, like, deck thinning first. Um, but then again, that just might increase the odds of banishing things we need. So, like, if we open Prince in this hand, I would definitely start with the Prince. Send Dragoons, add Dragoons, Megalo. Get, like, get the Dragoons out of the deck. Resolve the important effects first. Um, but here, the only thing I can see doing would be, like, this, ditching this to add, like, a copy of Gund. Um, which might come in handy. Um, you know, we're only in a deck than one card. So, I mean, if we banish all three of our Dragoons, like I said, well, then we're just gonna lose anyways. Or we could add Osea, because Osea is a card I'm trying as well. Um, so even if we don't get a good normal summon off of this, we can summon a level 3 and a level 4, and then we can link... Or no, we could use like the Mander to make like a, a rank 4 or something, like a Dweller. So I guess we'll, I guess we'll just add Osea. So if we don't draw like any good normal summons, like we have at least a backup play. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do that. Let's do that. Let's cut the deck. Let's play Pot of Desires. I think I've never played Pot of Desires in Mermel, so like I'm just kind of I'm new to the whole situation. Uh, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, two. Let's see what damage has been done. Hopefully, all three Megalos aren't gone. Diva, Prince, two Teuses, and a gun. That's actually not bad. Um, that could be way worse. That could be way worse. Two Teuses are gone. And we picked up a Megalo, and we also picked up a Dragoons. All right, that's not bad at all. So, like, granted, we we could have not have used the Teus, but then, like, our banished targets changed completely. Um, it's just hindsight, sort of 2020 at that point. Um, let's just start with Megalo by discarding the Marksman and the Dragoons. And let's go ahead and add Diva. We'll go with this, Chainlink 2, Chainlink 1. Uh, or we could use the inventory as chain link too. Doesn't really make too big of a difference. Uh, we'll add the Mizuchi. We'll add not this, but wait, we banished Diva. No, I wanted to use that. All right, that's fine. Uh, that that actually kind of sucks a little bit because we could have gone into like the World Chalice play, but we did of course banish the Diva, which again 
we could have had Teus Dragoons, because we did draw into Dragoons, and we did resolve a Teus already. But again, it's just like, it's 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 a weird situation. What do you do first there, you know? It's just, it's just weird. Uh, so we'll use this. Uh, send Dragoons, add Dragoons, and possibly a Megalo, since there's really nothing else to grab. Normal summoned already. We have this copy of Osea in our hand, which isn't too bad. Um, from here, I would just probably... Honestly, just to save resources, I mean, because I, I, like, if we make VFD, we have no target to equip this to, uh, so, like, this is where, where I would definitely just summon the other Megalo and burn through a little more resources. Maybe we can add a copy of Lapis Dragon here and try to make, like, a synchro play happen off of this and, uh, see what we can do from there. So, by going for the Lapis Dragon, like, it forces us in this weird position where, like, if we make Draco Sack here... Like we could summon this now if we this is this, if we decide this is actually what we want to add. And then we can make Draco Sack up here, um, summon two tokens, and then link per se the Draco Sack in this away for like a generic link two. But like we don't have I don't have a generic link two really picked out at the moment. Um, or we could like. Yeah, this, this is probably where... What, like, how many waters do we have in our grave? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. You know what? Let's just add Moulin Glacia, because we can make a Moulin play and VFD play, so why not just go for that? Um, it's weird. We have, like, no cards left in our deck. We've done so much deck thinning. It's crazy. Um, so, yeah, we'll add this, and then we will use the Abyss Mander here to start to make uh, these go up by two. Possible VFD play coming in here. And then we'll link these two into a Alacia. And the nice thing about Alacia being a Mermel monster is it gives our Mizuchi an equipped target. We also special summon another Megalo. So if we didn't banish Kraken, which we did banish Kraken, which is fine. Um, at least we have something to equip it to. Because normally, like with just Mistar Boy, uh, your equip spells would sort of just have nothing to equip to. Because you wouldn't want to make a Gaios over a VFD unless you knew the matchup might favor the Gaios in some way, shape, or form. But this card is just really, really strong. Uh, then we just equip this. So we have a spell negate and everything negate. They're down two cards. And we have the search of Ateus next turn. And if we don't use the search effect, we're drawing Lavish Dragon next turn for this. Some sort of level 8 synchro play. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and reshuffle here and go ahead and do another test hand. All right, so the deck has been shuffled quite a bit. Let's go ahead and draw into our next hand here. And uh, let's see what we get. We're going to do another going first. This is just all we're going to be going first uh, hands. Um... All right, so we draw into more of greed. So again, seeing a little bit of that consistency. Ideally, I want to put back the dragoons and the aqua spirit because, like, worst case scenario, we draw completely terrible. Um, or we could put back like no, there's really no other. I'm gonna say like worst case scenario, we normal, normal make uh, Alacia and pass. But like best case scenario maybe we draw into like a Teus and we have this and this in hand already so maybe we put back these or I don't know I think I think for this I'll put I'll keep the Dragoons in hand and the infantry just so we have that backup play so let's put back a Dragoons and the Aqua Spirit and hopefully we don't draw into like two copies of Call by the Grape or I might scream on camera you might need to get those uh those headphones you might need to turn the volume down a little bit well, let's just go ahead and see what we can draw into but yeah, like I said, like experimenting. Um, I've been I've been seeing a lot of uh, non seca builds, and it's just sort of been inspiring to me. Um, just sort of like maybe go back to a spell build. Like I I change this build all the time. It's like one of my favorite decks of all times. I'm always trying to find ways to innovate it and sort of like an original aspect, I guess. Not really. Um, I mean, I'm just trying to innovate, I guess. Uh, let's see what we draw into. Lapis Dragon, Megalo, and one for one. So. We did draw into the Lapis Dragon, so we'll use his effect. We'll summon that down. We drew into the one for one. That's pretty good. I will one for one by pitching the. Hmm. I'm gonna one for one by pitching the Megalo. Because we can just get that back, probably. Uh, send Dragoons. Add Dragoons. And now, one thing we could do here is add Diva. And then we can normal summon Infantry and normal summon Diva. And then Diva summon out something else. And then we could try to make some sort of, uh, you know, World Legacy play. Or we could go the safe route here and add a copy of Megalo uh, off this Dragoon search. And summon Megalo, discarding the double Dragoons and going from there. And then maybe trying to make something happen. Because, 
if we if, actually let's see uh i'm gonna play this through until like it doesn't work because i just need to play it through to see if it will work because thinking ahead is uh not my strong suit sometimes um so let's summon megalo by ditching these two we summon this we get to search a sea serpent and a uh, a spell if we didn't special summon this we'd be able to add no there's there's no way that works because i'm trying to see if there's a way to add prince get that to the graveyard to be able to revive the infantry and then search a sea serpent off of this and like grab diva so yeah we're just basically deciding what to search here off of this you know i'm just gonna go for the diva i'm just gonna go for the diva route and see see what see what happens normal special effect use this to bring out a level three and now we'll use uh our, we'll go into our classic level five synchro play i'm not gonna use the marksman because maybe there's a level eight synchro play here waiting later uh so let's do this let's go into ib put that there effect to search basically monster born now the weird thing is like we have two copies of dragoons in our hand it feels kind of weird to like not use them in some capacity but i mean if we end on alacia we have a way to you know make that sort of work later on uh let's see here let's link the marksman i guess away with these two go for a star boy yeah so yeah if we go for that we can bring out the level two and we can make a dawn dragster uh where is that level two at round right there and now really the only thing we can do here is to synchro and special summon the dawn dragster that'll give us a negation there and the last thing would to be uh use the succession uh, in some some way shape or form here and i guess the thing we could do would be to just reborn any water like this and then link these off into an alacia and like this board probably could have ended better if i just added the megalo to be able to pitch these to do something else um but i'm just sort of experimenting here this is this is going to look different than a lot of things uh, but then during their turn, we can pitch to add a this and a this. That's not terrible. Um, they just got to play through a spell negation and then worry about clearing this in some other way. I mean, it's not the best board. Like I said, probably could have played it a lot differently if we just, you know, added the Megalo instead. I just wanted to, like, see where the D.Va play would take us. Uh, and I don't, I don't want to just reset all the way back. So let's go ahead and do one more and that'll be it for this video. Just going to go ahead and shuffle real fast. Pile shuffle. Figured might as well. Let's draw into our last hand here and see what we can get. Upstart, Infantry, Dragoons, Teus, and another copy of Dragoons. Alright, so I think it's pretty standard here what we'll do. Teus for Dragoons. We'll add Diva and Gund. Classic starting play. We already opened the Infantry too, so like this, we'll be able to do the World Chalice play here, which is nice. Um, yeah, that's really nice. And then I think I'm going to upstart after we resolve the... Uh, Prince because I don't want to draw into any of our possible Prince targets since we already opened a Dragoons uh, Let's see here send Dragoons Add We have to add an Atlantean other than itself. So we'll add this and then we'll add a Sea Serpent. So we'll add Megalo And then we could actually synchro first uh, Synchro first here for Ib Where is Ib? Where are you hiding? You are hiding uh, effect or succession searchable monster born very cool very very cool link these two here and again like instead of adding the megalo which we we really needed to add the megalo we could add it in glacia but i'm just not going to do it this time around uh sometimes i just get way too fixated on Mullen glacia uh, effect we'll summon the manila out of the deck and then we'll draw here i'll just place this over here Keep those zones open and uh, let's burn the upstart and see what we draw into let's cut the deck first and if we draw into another copy of Teus that's not the greatest but it's definitely not the worst thing to draw um, so now from here we can summon let's see we can summon this by discarding these two uh, then we'll revive that like that. We'll search here, and we'll also search a Sea Serpent. Let's just add Mizuchi. We added Lapis Dragon. We could possibly make... 
we added, I'm just trying to think if there's like a way we can do sort of like two synchro plays here because we have like access to two level five tuners at the moment. One being Ib with this and then the Lapis Dragon here effect that we could use if we wanted to. It's just that if we summon this, we have to synchro with this. And then when Ib comes out, it has nothing else to synchro with. Uh, once if we use the succession on it that is um hmm. tough decisions to make or instead of adding the lapis dragon we could add prince to possibly revive uh something off of our second taste that we drew into off the upstart so let's go ahead and do that let's just draw let's just search the prince we'll use succession and summon out the justiciar and then we will synchro these two into a level 7 synchro. Uh, we will go for the Dawn Dragster. Because having some negations is pretty cool. That is exhausted there. And then from here we can make... Like we still need a way to get an Alacy on the field. Or else this board won't be as powerful. I mean we don't need it granted. But allow us to sort of take advantage of this infantry. So I guess we could summon the Teus by ditching the Prince. And then Prince reviving this. And then we could like link these two... Or a copy of Alacia. Put that there. Boost this up. And then we could overlay these two for a copy of good old Gaios. And then equip the scale uh, to this. Ideally, actually, we'll just probably equip it to the Alacia. would be better. Uh, so that gets up to 2400. It's pretty nice. And we also have the pitch to search effect for a Teus next turn. And the last card we will draw will be... Let's find out right now, and hopefully that infantry goes through and pops something. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four technical interruptions, technically, um, if you want to look at it that way. And we're drawing an Aqua Spirit for turn, which isn't bad, because if they cleared anything on our field, we're probably going to be able to make a Dweller somewhere. Um, like, yeah, maybe maybe I still find a way to get a generic Link 3 here, like a Decode Talker, ideally. So you have a way to sort of link out of this and to, you know, transfer arrows over. Or maybe just link these two into another Lacia, but then, you know, we can't do a Dweller play because there goes our level 4. Um, hmm. Or maybe we just summon the Teus, discard in the Aqua Spirit, add Pike, normal Pike for no effect, link Lacia and this for another Lacia, make Dweller over here. I guess that's a way we could do it. Um, but yeah, see, tons of options. Like, my extra deck isn't fully complete at the moment. Like, this isn't even 15 cards. Um, cards I might drop. I might drop Trish. Um, I just might. I don't know. Uh, I might drop Bryonic. Uh, even though this card, I feel like it's just still really good to have going second. Um, cards I might add in Borloed Savage Dragon. Maybe a generic Link 3. Maybe Nightmare Unicorn. Um, maybe Deco Talker. I'm not sure yet. There's a lot of decision making that I'm going to have to do over the next couple weeks. Um, and then maybe an updated profile will come out at the end of it looking something like you see here Or maybe I revert back to what I was doing before um, But the main reason I wanted to switch away from Saka is just this 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 card It just like like seems like it fits so well in here a because it's a water and it searches monster born Which is really cool. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy check out Imperium Duelist join discord and follow me on Twitch as well Hope you guys are having a good one as always when I kill sending out. We'll see you in the next one